Hey, you guys. Uh, this is your girl, Ashley Monique. Um, YouTube page, Essential Beauty 8. Facebook page, Essential Beauty 8. Uh, this video is going to be really different from all the other videos that I've done. Um, we're all in this gastric sleeve journey together. We're all on this VSG journey together. But some, well, most of us are on different are in different phases. So what I want to do now is I'm in the soft food phase and um, I'm not saying I can eat everything I want or anything that I want but um, they say whenever I do eat something uh, make sure I chew it very well like 30 chews or 30, 30 to 35 chews. Um, but basically what I'm going to do, people who know me personally and who are my personal friends, my Facebook friends, they know your girl can cook. Um, so basically what I'm going to do is a lot of people are saying, well, I don't know what to eat. Like after you leave out that clear liquid phase, the full liquid phase, the puree phase, now you're looking like, can I eat that? I don't know. Like every time people are around me, my friends are around me, they, they're harassed me I know they love me but they're harassing me they're like can you eat that can you eat that and I'm like yeah like I'm not gonna do anything to jeopardize myself like I'm not gonna look I'm not look my personal friends I'm not gonna send y'all to jail I'm not gonna sit there eat some fried chicken choke on the chicken bone and then everybody in the restaurant looking at you like you about to do some time I'm not gonna do y'all like that I'm gonna order some shrimp some baked tilapia, grilled tilapia, like the stuff that we can eat is good. Like it's it's not nasty. So with that being said, I'm going to start doing cooking videos for people who kind of sort of don't know what to eat. And I can cook, so you know. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a breakfast omelet now, and uh, it will consist. It's a shrimp and egg breakfast omelet and it's it's real simple not don't go not gonna take that long maybe six minutes at the most or seven and uh if you have any questions then just let me know i'm not gonna um post the ingredient well i am gonna tell you the ingredients but i'm not gonna post the amount of the ingredients why ashley why are you doing that because i want you to start following me i want you already subscribed to me on facebook um, at YouTube, I'm sorry, you already subscribed to me on YouTube at Essential Beauty 8. And some of you are following my Facebook page at um, Facebook slash Essential Beauty 8. Well, now I want all of us to be friends for real and start following me on my fitness app. It's uh, My Fitness Pal, um, My Fitness Pal app. And you pretty much uh, just follow me. You can see the ingredients of the foods, breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks, and you will see the ingredients there. So let's get started. Let me, and I'm using my laptop. And you know my Essential Beauty brand, uh, basically I'm expanding it. And you know my motto for Essential Beauty is uh, love who you are, not what your environment or statistics thought you would be. I repeat again, love who you are. Yep. You. Yeah. <laughs> love who you are and not what your environment or statistics thought you would be. So I'm going to wash my hands, my spirit fingers, and we're going to get started. So bear with me. Bear with me. What we're going to use is real quickly because I want to do this real quick. We're going to use shrimp. We're going to use this is a high protein uh, because I'm. If you watch my recent video, y'all know I'm tired of these protein shakes. Unless unless I'm doing the wrong or unless I'm buying the wrong flavor, I'm tired of them. So we're going to do high protein foods: breakfast, lunch, dinner. Shrimp. You're going to use four shrimp. Four shrimp is. 15 grams of protein. Oh yeah, because I need at least 60 per day. We're gonna use some mixed 
stir fried peppers and onions. And this has green onions, yellow onions, red onions, orange onions. What am I talking about? Peppers. Green peppers, red peppers, yellow peppers, orange peppers, and white onions. We're going to use that. We're going to use a little bit of chicken broth. And this chicken, some of this stuff you don't even have to buy. Like some of the stuff you already had in your fridge to your refrigerator prior to you having the surgery and some of the stuff like this right here is what you bought for post-op because you know you had to drink um chicken broth so that was one of the things we're gonna for, for seasoning excuse me you're gonna use uh, mrs dash this is salt free this is the original mrs dash because I, I don't really do salt love pepper but i'm off that salt i'm so over it and we're gonna use swiss cheese i'm gonna use swiss cheese and we're going to use a pot and a spatula. So, and egg. So, basically, let me turn it around and let's see. Okay. Pretty much, I have everything that we're going to need already laid out. We have our one egg. We have our one egg. We have our peppers here we have our swiss cheese here which is you're going to use a half of a swiss cheese half and we have four seasoned shrimp mm, large shrimp <laughs> and you see it's seasoned with that mrs dash so let's go ahead and hurry up and get started i'm going to use two pots i'm going to cut the oven on medium we're going to use one pot to this first pot we're going to use this first pot to add a little bit of that chicken broth measurements like I said again will be on my fitness pal app and into we're going to let this chicken broth come to a boil or let it warm up and and basically you're going to set this while that is warming up or boiling we're going to while that is boiling come are coming to a bar rather we're going to crack our egg into our bowl for the omelet. And as you can see, the steam is coming. So what we're going to do is go ahead and add in our peppers, our frozen peppers, because those were frozen peppers. And it's just a little bit. And then we're going to add in our shrimp, our seasoned shrimp. And we're going to let that steam do what it needs to do. And in the process of that doing what it needs to do, we're going to beat our egg. I'm going to beat the egg. That does not take long at all. Set this to the side. Use our spatula. You can see the shrimp is cooking and the peppers are defrosting into that chicken broth. And we're going to cook it until the chicken broth is has come down, has reduced, which should not take long at all. Maybe like three minutes, if that long. And look, that's a beautiful color. It's beautiful spring colors with those different color peppers, that pink shrimp. We're going to set that to the side. Set that to the side. And in the meantime, we're going to bring our new frying pan, our small frying pan. We're going to take some Mrs. Dash. You can either use, I 
use olive oil, but I'm going to use uh, this Pam spray to spray our pan. I should have probably. Fry our egg, our omelet. I need some more. This is this is real, you guys. This is a, that's why this is a real video. So I'm gonna take that, and then we're gonna put our egg in the pan. out a little but this is how I do mine spread it out a little keep your fart and your spatula handy I go around my edges and some people say I don't know how to make omelets because like I said on my personal page I make omelets I make a good chicken Southwest omelet. So we're gonna take this. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take that cheese, that half a slice of cheese, that Swiss cheese, unwrap it, lay it down, lay it down here. And we're gonna take our peppers and shrimp and we're gonna just put it in here. Lay it on top of that cheese. here you see it and all we're gonna do is fold it over fold one side over like so and just like that and we just let it sit maybe what 30 seconds on each side and this is gonna be so good you guys it's gonna be delicious and it's healthy and it's small. This is one serving. And depending on what phase you are in your gastric sleeve situation, you can probably split this up into two. And I'm pretty sure I'm gonna split this up into two. This would be this could be breakfast and it could be lunch or breakfast and a snack. And pretty much we are Let's get a clean plate to put this on. Let's get a clean styrofoam plate. <laughs> a clean styrofoam plate and put this on. Here you go, as you can see. And if we really want to make this cute and professional, this is what we can do. You know, if you gotta, you trying to be cute for your man or your girl, your lady or whomever. What you can do is, you know, make it cute. Add some diced tomatoes on it. And as you can see, with my tomatoes, I pretty much measure. I measure. I, I pretty much measure everything out now. You see it's a small amount. But yes, here you have it. You have the, you have a this is a shrimp and pepper omelet with tomatoes on top. And let me show you the inside. Cut it open for you. It's so cheesy, and we're going to use half of the ingredients, or half of each slice of cheese to cut down on the carbs and everything else, but pretty much, this is how it looks so delicious, and let me taste it for you. I watch YouTube videos. I know you have to always taste what you cook, which, for something like this right here, I absolutely do not mind.
Mm. It's so good. It's good. It's healthy. It's light. It's good. <laughs> but once again, this is a shrimp egg. This is a shrimp and cheese omelet. And it has peppers, onions, mixed peppers and onions and fresh shrimp. If you want to know the ingredients that I use and the exact measurements, and I'm from the South, so I eyeball a lot of things, then please follow me on my Fitness Pal app. And my name is Ashley, A-S-H-L-E-Y, John, J-O-H-N, and the number is 843 on my Fitness Pal app. And thank you, and I will have more recipes to come. Bye.